All right, guys. Um, today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, belts and your pulley system. And uh, mainly, uh, uh, the video is about people that are breaking their belts, uh, either you know once per year or whatever it is. If you're breaking belts. Um, chances are that one of your pulleys is bad so that's what this video is going to be about this video isn't about uh, loose belts or belts that keep coming off that's a different video for a different time this is about breaking uh, belts uh, and if you are breaking belts chances are it's going to be one of these pulleys uh, and, and all these lawnmowers whether it's uh, a lever action or a PTO action uh, you're going to have a, a belt system like this, a pulley system. And um, if you're breaking belts, you might as well replace the pulley because it's not going to get any better. Uh, the pulley's not going to fix itself. Uh, you might can um, grease one up that, has, you know, that hasn't been greased. But if you don't uh, take care of your deck and the pulley situation, uh, this can happen. Uh, this is something that was off this LG 1040. Uh, you see where the bearings uh, rusted up and then eventually seized up and they kept running the belt. Uh, so we'll get into that, what happened there, how to put a pulley on, um, and, and the whole system actually, how, how to replace it. Now, uh, it doesn't matter um, if you have a lawnmower like this to where you have a PTO. Uh, if you have a PTO, you're running a, you're, you have a clutch like this. Or you have a lawnmower that, I have one inside, but you have a lawnmower like this where it, over here next to it on the other side, you have a lever that, that engages it. Either way, what is happening is that you're engaging the deck to start the, the belt process and I don't know if you can see this but this this pulley here is connected to the engine let's see if I can get, get you under there okay that's the drive pulley and like I said depending on which it doesn't matter what uh, what kind of lawnmower you have this pulley here is connected to the engine and that's what's going to give you your, your belt speed and all the power uh, that's what's going to provide the power to run your system. So, it doesn't matter if one of these are seized up. That engine is still going to go. It's, it's got that much power where it's still going to go and it's still going to pull this belt. Uh, regardless uh, uh, if you have a seized engine. So, that's what's breaking the belt. And the whole idea behind this is that when you're, when if you just think about this as being the drive pulley, you know, you, you have this and it's pulling the pulleys at a much, 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 you know, faster speed, of course. And, you know, this, this spindle here is going to run a mower blade. This spindle here is going to be running a mower blade. And there's other lawnmowers where you have three blades well of course there'll be another one so it doesn't really matter um what kind of mower you have you're going to have some sort of spindle pulley spindle pulley uh, running the blades and then you're going to have these other small pulleys here to uh help run the um the belt and so when you engage however whether it's lever or pto you're going to tighten all of a sudden the belt and then it's going to start moving at the speed of the engine um, but if you have a seized pulley whether it's the spindle or the pulley itself uh, instead of being pulling like that you're going to have it stopped so this is going to be stopped and now you're just pulling you're just pulling the belt like this and it's rubbing against the pulley you're, you're, you're creating friction and then you're burning your belt up. Um, if, if you smell a, a bad spell of rubber 
or, or you have some smoking coming from the deck, chances are you have a pulley problem. Uh, you're hoping that it's one of these, that it's just the pulley. Uh, you're hoping that it's not the spindle like this. So what happened here was this rusted up. And you can see this still moves. Uh, but what happened was is that they kept on using it, kept on, and this was seized up. They kept on using it. No grease. They weren't greasing it. And it just finally froze up, and then it just got so tight that it just, it actually just corroded there. Um, and so you might be saying, well, how can I keep this from happening? One is don't use water on your deck. I know that they put these, um, let's see if I can give you this. If you can see this. They put these cute little things, you know, here. Oh, washer deck system, smart deck, whatever. Uh, smart, whatever, it's not smart. Um, I don't use water on my deck whatsoever. If I want to clean off the grass, if I want to get, uh, you know, several of these have these covers, and you're going to have grass going in there, and people just use water to get that. That's not what you do. You use a leaf blower, compressed air. You don't use water. I don't ever use water. I don't cut my grass when it's wet or even damp. Uh, I keep water away from my deck as much as possible because that's what happens is you end up with a rusted pulley. Um, also, um, <clears throat> so here's the new one we're going to be putting on. Um, some of the mowers out there have this nipple here or um, oil outlet, a grease outlet, sorry. And it's important to keep these greased. Uh, I, I can't stress that enough is to to have your maintenance to keep those greased. Uh, once a year, you, you take your grease system. Uh, I could go in and get it, but uh, so you put it over there. You give your grease gun a couple of pumps and wait for the grease to come out the top. And um, let me go get that actually. But it's not just the the the, the uh, spindles either. You actually ha also have those here uh, in your in your wheel base uh, in your spindles here in the in the wheel. Very important to keep those greased. Uh, so I just can't stress the the maintenance of keeping that kind of stuff greased up. Uh, let me get my grease gun. So I've got several here. I know you got the you got the straight one and you got the uh, tube one, but either way, it's important to keep these guys greased up so they're moving at all times and they don't end up getting. So I don't even know if these things have been pre-greased. I didn't see anywhere on there where they said they had been greased. So I'm going to go ahead and try to grease this one up. Um, So I'm greasing it, but I don't know, again, if it's already been greased. So it's coming out now. So I'm, I'm guessing that I've got it filled. But if you grease the, the wheels, uh, it'll actually come out the top. So got that grease now, and I'm going to grease the other one as well. Uh, these, you can't really do anything out. You might can spray some WD-40 in between there. I'm not really sure what you can do for these. Uh, but these are way cheaper to replace than the whole spindle system. So just keep that in mind. Again, just keep keep water off of your deck. That's such a huge important uh, thing. You can see that these springs are rusted. I'm going to spray those down with WD-40 so they can actually move. Uh, and just spray some WD-40 all around here when I'm, before I put it on. Um, but let's go over uh, uh, how to uh, replace this. Now, you'll need a number, see, so I have a number here that let me know what the number that I needed to replace because the one that I, I tried, I, this one is an extra one that I had, 
uh, it's not the right one um, so I had to go buy it you can see the difference in the size of the pulley here how much bigger it is than that pulley so and I don't know if you can see this but this is a, a six star pattern that's the cub cadet pattern um, the blade here so that's a six star so let's flip this thing over so you can look at the bottom now this deck is um really beat up really poor condition um i just it's, it's kind of uh, let me show you that one real quick that's the old one so you know that you're putting the right one on putting on the right blade so but anyway let me turn this over and again i'm not going over how to take this off because each lawnmower is different but as you can see, this is the even the wrong pattern there to uh, put on the uh, lawnmower. But so we're going to go over how to how to fix this and do that. All right. So the first thing that you want to do is take off your washer here that is shown here and then you take off your your blade and let me show you a trick if you don't have an impact if you don't have an impact if you don't have an impact strong enough what you can do and I suggest using blocks rather than bricks but I'm going to replace probably uh, replace these blades anyway um, I just want to make sure I've been doing work on the engine as well so I want to do some maybe a couple hours with the mower and I might as well use these old blades but I'm going to end up replacing these blades anyway but just for there we go so you just take your ratchet wrench whatever you want to use this is the wrong size but you know you take it and then using this as leverage that will help you get this off uh, spray some WD-40 uh, these are going to be older uh, let me uh, actually get that So, this is the one I used. Uh, this is definitely not the right one, but the 15 16 Anyway, so take it and uh, use my big ratchet in. And then just take it off like that. You know, just wrench it. Uh, spray some WD-40 around here. And then the, if you use the brick in the in closer to the end here, you're going to keep from, you know, ruining your blade here. But best way to use it is just go ahead and get an impact get this thing off get the blade off you can sharpen them while you have them off if you want but um, that's how I get those off but let's get to the uh, actual thing here so once you get the the blade off going to be to this part so you're going to have four bolts and the the one that i got actually uh, uh came with the the replacement that i got actually came with bolts to put in there so that's that's good Once again i don't have the right socket
this one, I think it's this one here, maybe not. Sure, I had it, but this one is far too big. Of course, if you have an impact, much, much easier. But if you notice, uh, th this deck is in such poor condition. It's been, it's been ran over. Uh, it needs to be hammered back into to correct position. But um, it's just, it's, it's so bad. Like I said, um, there's another video where. I'm working on the um, valve cover gasket and you can see the engine and, and just how unwell cared for this um, lawnmower or lack thereof. So it doesn't surprise me that the deck looks like this. But the other um, spindle assembly here looks pretty good. This one here, so I uh, may only have to replace one. It's already, it's already been pre-greased. We have the pre-greasing here. Uh, it's the correct one, so we got we know that. Um, use these bolts. Yeah. Pretty nice that they came already with bolts because I'm actually needing these bolts for the top covers. Super long. Maybe two of them. I'll have to check those out. I wish it would have came with washers as well, but because this one is missing a washer, I think they're all missing washers of some sort. Somehow there's a washer that is actually not doing what it's supposed to do there. Very odd. That might be locked on. All right, so put your bolts all of them over here because now we got to go back to the other side here so I'm gonna go back to the other side and go ahead and put this pulley on or the, the I'm sorry the belt on the pulley and then have this going on like this Actually, I think it's like this okay well whatever we'll get that Now, I 
also want to keep in mind that um, um, I want to make sure that the nipple uh, here, the grease fitting, as some people call it, is to a, a direction where I can best get to it. And for me, that's going to be closer to the entrance here where I can just pull up the flap, put my gun in. I don't know if, uh, if I'm too close here. Okay, all right, good. Yeah, so I want it, I want it probably pointing here instead. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Again, flip this up. There we go. All the washers are stuck there. That's uh Well, I mean, oh, they could have at least put this fitting somewhere different than they put it. I'm really aggravated with how they put that fitting on there because you're not going to have a lot of clearance from this nut here to this. That's, that's poorly designed. Um, really disappointed with how they, how they did that. Um, wow. But uh, this, um, <clears throat> just for some of you out there, this this was bought off of um, Facebook Marketplace. So, but you can buy these off eBay as well. Uh, it's uh, made by a company called Eight Ten, uh, if that's correct. Um, but uh, this one cost me fifteen dollars. So fifteen dollars to to repair this is not a bad deal. So I, I'll take that. take that any day so of course you go up and you tighten and then make sure you get it good tight tight because you're gonna have to <laughs> and make sure that you got it even as well because you're gonna be running a blade on this so you want the blade to be as even as possible I was really worried about that blade uh, being maybe uh, ran uh, to where um, one side is worse, so it's, it's off, but I measured it and somehow that blade is level. I don't know how, but um, it is level. Uh, so, again, I just need to start getting with the wrong one. I have to go get that, but so I can tighten that here in a second. So, we got this tight or semi tight. Maybe we have enough clearance here to, to run our grease gun when we need it. But, so now you got this part on. So now you have to start worrying about your blade and how it's set. And while you're taking this uh, off, sometimes you might want to take a picture of your blade number so that you can replace it. Uh, it's kind of odd. Uh, this is not the correct... Um, blade um, right here for this spindle um, 
all the blades that I've seen like this have always had this star shaped. I don't even know how this blade got on here because you don't have a star shape. I don't know if you can see that, what I'm talking about. But you, you don't have a... I don't know if you can see that, what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I don't know how this came on here like this. Um, but I have some replacement blades, I believe. So, anyway... Uh, Put your blade on and you put your nut on. I'm going to see if um, what exactly happened here because we have a problem. Uh, that's not supposed to be like that. That is supposed to be a star shaped blade. It's almost like they put the wrong blade on as well. Um, very odd. This whole thing. Let me see if, I, if I'm actually putting it on the wrong. Okay, well, they've still got the, this is still the wrong one. Uh, I don't care what they say. I've, I've seen the star-shaped ones. This is not how it's supposed to be. But somehow they've, they've managed to do that. So, anyway, so back to the brick. Uh, and... course you're going to be running it this see see how you're going to have put the blade back on and i've already got some problems here you see this that's that's not good so i'm going to have to hammer that let me get a hammer i knew i knew it wasn't going to be easy So, uh, let's see, let's get you back back out here. Got a body hammer here. And I'm going to have to just... It's actually, since I don't have this tightened up, that's the good thing, I don't have this tightened up, so I can take this off. I don't want this blade to get damaged, even though I plan on replacing it. Put that over there. some work it's gonna take a lot of work to get this uh, hammered back without hitting this I may have to just take this off so I can get a better swing at it or um, I, don't, I don't have the proper uh... yeah unfortunately this is not not going to do See, once it goes down, yep, yeah. catch it every time. So I'm gonna have to have some more hammering. Um, let's see if I can actually, if I have some sort of um, way to do this. So, I'm going to have to definitely work on that, but uh, for now, just to continue the video, I'll just put it like this. I'll have to take this back off, but just want to just continue the video anyway, and we'll work on that at a different time. Uh, so, again, put my brick in. Alright, 
So, like I said, we, we're going to have to fix that, but that is replaced. And so, all right, so. This is going to go over the, let's see if we can get you back out here. This is going to go over the drive uh, pulley. And of course, when this, all the springs pulls, this pulls up, tightens it. Uh, but as you can see, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Everything's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm going to grease these up and spray these springs. But that's basically it. Uh, if you ever get confused, you take a drive belt out. Of course, a lot of these mowers have your drive belt and as you can see it's going along there but even this is rusted from where it was rubbing on that uh, the other pulley and if you can believe this they were actually mowing the lawn with this pulley uh, so they were only running one side so ah, that's it uh, what a process a easier process for most people but of course like I said I'm uh, I'm out here trying to do this with improper tools and with a uncared for um, lawnmower really really poorly done um, anyway I hope this helps some people uh, again always grease your pulleys I'm going to go back and grease this other pulley I'm going to go back and and um, get a hold of that metal uh, with a little bit better I'm gonna go ahead and probably take this back off so that it can uh, work a little bit better but that's it that's all you have to do and that's going to fix your problem with your breaking your belts if you go ahead and do that now a lot of these pulleys a lot of times are about 30 bucks on eBay if you can go ahead and replace it get it out of the way it's gonna save you money on belts and it's going to also uh, you know if you have a if you do have a frozen pulley you're also putting extra um, um, restraint on your engine because your engine is trying to pull that pulley that doesn't exist. Um, so, anyway, I hope this helps some people. So, there is the brand new, see the high studs. I put the cover on. I uh, went ahead and put the cover on just because I don't know how stretched out that belt is. So, I don't want it throwing the belt. Uh, but... I definitely want to uh, definitely see what it can do but there it is there's as you can see we've got all the parts back on underneath got it connected back so let's get it running working uh easy easy fix just fixing those spindles like that uh nothing to it uh hope this helps somebody uh,